Hey everybody, what's going on and welcome to Guns N' Roses Central and today I wanted to do a, another episode of Guns N' Roses True Stories. So I did one about Izzy and I want to talk about Steven Adler. So a lot of people are wondering why isn't Steven Adler part of the Guns N' Roses reunion? Well, let's look at everything that's transpired from the point that we first started hearing, you know, rumors of a Guns N' Roses reunion to today. So back in 2015 uh, Eddie Trunk was interviewing Steven Adler and that's when you know there was all these rumors about a reunion Bumblefoot left the band DJ Ashbell left the band um, and uh, you know everybody's wondering are they going to get back together and you know that was around the time too that Slash revealed that him and Axel had patched up their differences but he didn't go fully go out and say hey we're reuniting so here's some snippets of the interview that Eddie Trunk did with Steven Adler but I'm, I'm trying to get now. something straight here though just for clarity you so you have not had any discussion dialogue been approached from any official source meaning no. representatives or band members themselves about anything happening with guns and roses nothing, nothing. so Slash. everything you know has been through just through people who say they're good buddies with these guys you know but have you caught like even if the, if it was happening I don't think Slash would tell me because he right. knows how excited I get, and then I would probably say something before I should. Is it <laughs> true? I would be the is last it true? One to know. Let me tell you one that I heard. Is it true that you said that if a Guns N' Roses reunion happened and they didn't include you, that you would kill yourself? I, I would probably feel like I would want to kill myself, but no, you I would wouldn't. Not do that. I would probably just kill them because <laughs> because if i'm not doing it they're not doing it <laughs> there you go. if i'm going down they're going down <laughs> if you kill all them then, then you can go then, out with steven adler's guns and roses the, the, yeah there Just we go like i'll pull a blotzer <laughs> i'll pull a, 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 a wand and a, and a blotzer steven adler's guns and roses <laughs> At least I had enough dignity to call it Adler's appetite. Wipe out everybody. Uh, let me ask you: from the original band, your your ver your Guns N' Roses, the original Guns N' Roses, who are you still in touch with? Who do you have communication with? Occasionally, Duff, and uh, probably forty times a year. Slash forty times a year. So that's yeah. like every other. W it's less. That's almost uh, a, every maybe, once a yeah, week. Well, no, but they're Texas. Right, right. Well, I'm working. And yeah, yeah. I'm always trying to get them to go to Crossroads. You know, this vegan restaurant. You know, I, 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 I say, come with. You know, get your your girlfriend, and and come meet me and my wife over. And John Five. And I said, meet me and John Five and Rita over at Crossroads for brunch or dinner. Uh, I can't. I'm working. And then I, I, I said, dude, you know, most nobody works as much as you do. He does I'm way more than that. I'm gonna just come meet with me. I said, let's go have a cup of coffee. It's just he don't. They don't think I'm cool, and they don't think I could play drums that great, and they don't think I'm sober. See, I, well, listen, I. I've known you a long time, but I'm not with you all the time. I, mean, I don't dude, live you here. Saw I don't me know. Play, like you said, but I just, just saw ago. you play. Two days and ago. And I can tell you <laughs> that, listen, there's drummers out there from re in reunion situations or who've been playing for a long time that, that are go getting through shows that can't play half as well as you can play right now, and there's not a problem. You, you, I, I honestly, Lonnie, I mean, you're in the band. Obviously, you're his friend, but you're also a musician. For, you're up there on stage playing with this guy. From a playing standpoint, uh, am, am I, because I'm not a musician. I only know what my ears tell me, but he's rock solid, right? Absolutely, absolutely. I mean, it, th well, there's really, no reason only, to not think. Now, the, the well, cool, no, I don't think no, that. No, no, I'm not saying you don't. Know, these but, goofballs do. Now, the other, okay, so. That's just your assumption, though, too. Uh, that I, well, it's half assumption and half crap And why? Idea. Doesn't anybody? Why would you think people don't think you're cool? No, no, you, not you people. Are, everybody thinks I'm cool. Everybody in the who fucking thinks world you're not loves cool, me. Duff and Slash. Why? I don't know. They just they're just weirdos. But why do you I say mean, that? Slash, I, well, Slash okay, told me. I, Slash, wait, wait. Slash told me he wouldn't even be playing guitar if it wasn't for be. you. Well, he probably would eventually, but he wouldn't have gotten into it. Like because we he would have been we skateboarding or some shit. No, he was bike or bike, bike whatever. Or, yeah, he would be a fifty year old riding a BMX bike. Yeah, but no, it, it's it, it, it's just like I said, Slash doesn't believe me, and Duff, you know, he he has a right in a way, but like I said, he forgets where he came from too. But we did do some shows in Japan, and Duff invited you know Adler to come down, and I was still drinking then, and I. The second I got to the airport, I, I made a beeline for the bar, 
and I just started doing shots of Jaeger, and the whole trip I was sick, and I was just a mess, and you know, Duff sober, and he's very, he's very um, judgmental and like and forgetful of where he came from, and he was just so bombed and 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 pissed at me. I mean, the, the playing part, the shows when we actually were performing, that went all right, but everything else, so I kind of ruined it. And gave him the the an the bit an excuse to be able to say, well, he's not cool and he's not that good. But I stopped doing that. They stopped doing that just because they stopped doing it before I did doesn't make them any better. You know, we're all people who have have addiction problems. I was just able to get a, a grip on it later on in life than they did. <laughs> So now fast forward to early 2016, there's all these rumors flying that Guns are going to be playing Coachella and that Slash and Duff would be returning to the band. And there was an announcement made by uh, the actual festival organizers that Guns N' Roses would be headlining Coachella in 2016, but there was no mention of Izzy or Steven Adler, which led to more rumors of who the actual lineup was going to feature. So before Coachella, Guns N' Roses actually played a surprise show at the Troubadour in April of 2016. And coincidentally enough, uh, the same night that Guns N' Roses were playing the Troubadour, Adler's Appetite was supposed to play at the Whiskey A Go Go, but that gig was canceled and announced uh, that it was going to be canceled just before Guns N' Roses were going to play the Troubadour. So some people thought this meant that Steven Adler was going to be joining Guns at their surprise gig at the Troubadour. However, it came out that Steven Adler was actually in rehearsals with Guns N' Roses, but he had actually injured his back and had to have surgery, so he was unable to actually make the show. And during that summer, Guns N' Roses go on a stadium tour across North America, and it isn't until July 7, 2016, that Steven Adler finally comes out on stage and performs with Guns N' Roses. So this was the same show that Jeff from the podcast was actually at, and he came on stage and performed Out to Get Me and My Michelle with the band. And Steven Adler would go on to make surprise appearances with Guns N' Roses in Nashville, Los Angeles, and a show they played in Argentina in late 2016. So... In uh, the fall of 2016, Duff and Axel, while doing their North America tour, actually sat down with Brazilian TV and talked a bit about the Guns N' Roses reunion. They talked about Izzy uh, originally wanting to have some sort of role in the Guns N' Roses reunion, but things not working out. And also, Axel confirmed that Steven did injure his back and that they weren't really sure what was going to happen with Steven in the future. So in 2017, Steven Adler started to answer some questions about his role in the Guns N' Roses reunion. So he appeared on Mitch LaFon's podcast, and he shed some light on exactly what happened during those early Guns N' Roses rehearsals as part of the reunion. So Steven Adler said the original idea was for he and Frank to split drum duties, with Adler playing on Appetite for Destruction and the Lies songs, with a few from Use Your Illusion as well, and Frank would play the rest, to which Steven said, I was going to start it, Adler said, and he was going to come in the middle, and I was going to end it, and I was cool with that. Unfortunately, during rehearsals for the warm-up show at the Troubadour in Los Angeles, which was originally booked as an Adler solo gig, he picked up a, a back injury that actually required minor surgery and put him out of action for two weeks, causing the band to jettison the idea of using two different drummers. Duff McKagan called me and said, dude, you're not going to play with us anymore. You're, gonna do, you're not going to do these shows, he continued. And I was like, you're the worst effing person in the world, and I hung up on him. And I tried to call him back and left a message saying, I'm so sorry I said that. I was feeling... I was feeling that about me, and I said that about him. I couldn't apologize to him enough because he knows I love him more than anything, and I got to apologize because obviously I'd seen him last year, and we did the shows together, and he understood. So Eddie Trunk would actually have Steven Adler on his show again around February of 2017, and Steven Adler said it was heartbreaking to watch Frank Farrar play my Guns N' Roses song. So he began the conversation by saying how magical it was for the semi-reunion of Guns N' Roses lineup turning his attention towards his guest contributions. Adler said it was just too hard last year because they've had me come down and just do one or two songs and it's like I'm standing on the side of the stage and I'm watching Frank who's a wonderful guy and a great drummer play my songs when I'm standing right there. I'm going, dude, why don't you let me play F and play? I'm right here, let me play the songs and it was just too hard to do that. And then the South America thing, flying 15,000 miles for just one song each night, it was too much. He also revealed that he was offered to actually join Guns N' Roses on some of their early 2017 dates in Japan, Australia, and New Zealand, but he just didn't want to fly all that way just to play one or two songs. 
And in the same interview, Steven revealed that he only really talked to Axel for about 10 seconds during his appearances with Guns N' Roses in 2016, and that was basically it. He also shed some more light on his early involvement with the reunion. He said on January 2nd, 2016, Slash and Duff both texted me and said they wanted to get together and talk to me. So I went down to Duff's house and we had a nice little talk. They had me sign some contract thing and whatnot just so they could talk to me, which is cool, I don't care. Then in March, I came down to rehearsal and the second rehearsal, I got a pinched nerve in my uh, L4 in my lower back, but it was I was only out for 10 days. By the time they did the Troubadour show, I was ready to go. I called Duff and said, dude, I'm ready to rock. Can I do these shows? And he basically reiterated the story I told before that Guns N' Roses told him, no, we don't want you doing the Troubadour shows. And now a lot of people are asking, well, why did he only play two songs? Why couldn't he just play more songs? And he did say that they did pay him a bit. He said they're good guys with that. But still, to be on the side of the stage and watch somebody else play the songs, it's heartbreaking. He also talked about why he doesn't think he was allowed to play more songs and more shows. He said, dude, I was in Argentina. Why would they let me play only one song? I have no idea. And out of respect to Fernando, who was part of Guns N' Roses management team, I have nothing negative to say because I was just so glad to be able to do it. And even though it wasn't what it could be and should be, I got closure and I feel so much better. Like there's a, a billion ton weight lifted off me where I could move forward again. I could play with other people. I could do other things and it's the greatest things. And then, of course, 2017 was going to be the 30th anniversary of Appetite for Destruction. And Steven talked a little bit about it. He said, I asked Slash if he would talk to Axl Rose about that. Like in July, it'll be 30 years that Appetite came out. So I was thinking, why don't we just do four or five shows and play all the Appetite from beginning to end, throw in like Civil War and maybe something off of GNR Lies like Patience and record it and videotape it. And that's it. Steven also indicated that Fernando, who's Guns N' Roses manager, had some ideas for the 30th anniversary. And... Fans eagerly awaited when July came. So July came and Guns N' Roses played a special invitation only show at the Apollo Theater which would also be live broadcast on Sirius XM. Unfortunately neither Izzy or Steven Adler actually appeared at the show. Now most recently Steven Adler has been going around uh, talking about his upcoming book. Uh, his second book is actually going to be coming out. It's called The Shit My Friends Remember I Did. And during the interviews, of course, he did an interview with Loudwire, and he talked about some drug stories, and he said that playing stadiums with Guns N' Roses is better than heroin. He also revealed during the actual interview that he hasn't really had contact with the guys from Guns N' Roses, and it doesn't seem like there's any plans to do anything with them in the near future, especially considering they're getting off the road here in another couple of weeks, although they do have a couple shows in L.A. coming up, which could be an opportunity for Steven to show up and maybe play a couple songs. Now, during the interview, he said, uh, he talked about playing clubs compared to stadiums. He said, you get love in a club, but in a stadium when you've got 100,000 screaming your name, that's a high you can just never come off. It's worse than heroin. It's better and worse at the same time, he laughed. So that does it for this look at why Steven Adler is not part of the Guns N' Roses reunion. My personal opinion, I think it's a shame that he isn't part of it. He's such a great drummer, and I probably like his drumming the best out of all the drummers who've been in Guns N' Roses. And hopefully he makes a surprise appearance in L.A. at least one of the shows. So let me know your thoughts down below, guys, in the comment section. And be sure to hit the subscribe button if you love Guns N' Roses and you want to see more stuff just like this. And be sure to follow me on Facebook and Twitter. The links to my Facebook and Twitter are down below. And you guys can also go support my channel on Patreon as well. Take care.